the MSET counseling season is here and all students and parents who are participating in the MSET counseling are bothered about the relative ranking of the colleges in the state of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. We have already done a video for Telangana and uh, we have done a video for AP also, the top 25 colleges in AP, but uh, that video was based on the NIRF ranking. So, uh, and when I, when I did that video, I discussed that there are certain limitations with the NIRF ranking and the foremost limitation that we see as far as AP is concerned is that we could rank only about 8 colleges and uh, from 9 onwards, they were all lumped together. So, within that group, we could not identify the relative ranking, that is one. Second is NIRF ranking also suffers from some disadvantages, uh, like for example, as I pointed out in the previous video, IIIT Hyderabad is at 62 position. It is, be, uh, it is uh, uh, behind a whole lot of private institutions, including MIT, lovely professional university, etc., etc. It's, be, it's, it's behind even uh, UPES, it's behind uh, uh, NIT Meghalaya, etc., etc., etc. The reason is that the parameters that are used by NIRF are a little different. An average student or placement is pri uh, or parent is primarily bothered about placements. And if you look at the overall scheme of things, placements per se gets around 9% weightage in the entire scheme of things of NIRF. And uh, that is the reason why IIIT Hyderabad is at 62. Even Bits Pilani is at a, a very bad position. Otherwise, they should be at par with the IITs. Okay, so the other parameters uh, that one can look at is the closing rank of last year, 2021, because it shows uh, the popularity of the college uh, within that particular area. So, we have taken the closing ranks today for today's video. We have taken the closing ranks of computer science among OC boys. But again, let me tell you that this is not perfect, okay, because this is based on perception of individuals and this perception um, would vary and uh, it has its own biases. But in the absence of any other objective criteria, this will give perhaps the ranking which I would say in some way is crowdsourced. So, I have given that. One uh, peculiarity of Andhra Pradesh as opposed to Telangana is uh, the distribution, the geographic distribution of the colleges. In Telangana, what happens is all the major engineering colleges, all the top engineering colleges are located in Hyderabad and they should be too because Hyderabad is that has got that uh, preeminence among all the other towns in Telangana. In the case of Andhra Pradesh, we have Vizag, we have Vijayawada, Guntur, we've got Tirupati, we've got Nellur, we've got a whole, uh, we've got a whole lot of these towns which are almost at par. And a person staying in Vizag, let us say, may not like to go to say Karnul uh, or say for that matter even Tirupati. Because the differences among the colleges are not so heavy. So, what we have decided to do was to do ranking up to 50. All right. So, we will do ranking up to 50 based on the closing ranks of CSE in 2021. Again, let me tell you this is not perfect, but this will give you some idea to start your uh, options of exercising, uh, exercising the options in the, in the MSET counseling process. Okay. Now, let us start with the top 10. The top 10 as far as our analysis goes is something like this. Uh, intuitively also, I think this seems to be all right as far as the top 10 is concerned. JNTU College of Engineering, Kakinada, established in 1946. In fact, it is the oldest engineering college in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Then you have AU College of Engineering, Visakhapatnam at number 2 position. 1953 started in 1953. In fact, the, the last column here is not any ranking, it is the year of establishment. The last column here is the year of establishment. Then we have Gayatri Vidya Parishad, 1996, Visakhapatnam. Then uh, we are Siddhartha Engineering College, 1977, established in 1977, Vijayawada, 
Sri Vishnu Engineering College for Women, Bhimavaram. In fact, Bhimavaram uh, has a number of excellent uh, engineering colleges. JNTU College of Engineering, Anantapuram, 1946. It was also established in 1946. I think there is a locational disadvantage as far as Anantapur is concerned. Then Vishnu Group of Institutions, uh, Vishnu Institute of Technology, Bhimavaram, 2008, another fine college from Bhimavaram. Then Anil Nirukonda Institute of Technology and Science, Bhimani Patnam, close to Vizag, established in 2001. Then again, Bhimavaram, SRKR Engineering College in Bhimavaram, 1980, established in 1980. Such great engineering colleges from uh, Bhimavaram. And then SVU uh, College of Engineering, this is the University College of Engineering, Tirupati, established in 1959. I think there should be no controversy about the top 10 here. They more or less, I think, deserve the position where they are. Then we have uh, Vignan's Institute of Information Technology, Visakhapatnam, 2002. And uh, GMR Institute of Technology, Rajam, established in 1997 at the number 12 position. Number 13th, JNTU K College of Engineering, Vijayanagaram, 2007. Uh, I think the preference there is primarily because it is a government institution. So, all those parents and students who wish to go for a government campus, I think it makes sense. Uh, but otherwise, Vijayanagaram is not such a great location. Then, uh, MVGR College of Engineering, again Vijayanagaram, 1997 established. RVR and JC College, uh, College of Engineering, Guntur, 1985 established. It's at 15th position. JNTUA College of Engineering, Pulivandula. Uh, all these JNTU colleges which have been established recently are there in the top 20, primarily because they are government campuses. Uh, Raghu Engineering College, Bhimuni Patnam, 2001, it's at 17. And uh, another thing that you need to keep in mind is look at the code. Please concentrate on the code because with a similar name, for example, Vignan, there are a number of institutions. So, uh, and then there will be some confusion. So, if you are exercising your options, the code is very important. So, the code you got to concentrate. Okay. Um, then at number 18 is GPR Engineering College, Pularedi Engineering College, again another fine institution, Karnul 1985. Uh, uh, then VVIT at 19th position, uh, Vasireddy Venkatadri Institute of Technology, Guntur 2007. Then Aditya Engineering College, uh, Pedapuram 2001 at 20th position. Then 21, Sri Vidya Niketan Engineering College, 1996. Uh, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Tirupati, 2007. Uh, 23 position, we have Prasad uh, V. Potluri, Siddhartha Institute of Technology, established in 1998 in Vijayawada. 24th is Pragati Engineering College, Pedapuram, 2001, established in 2001. Uh, then Gudlavaleru Engineering College from Gudlavaleru started in 1998 at 25th position. 26th is the Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering for Women, Visak Patnam, established in 2008. Then we have Aditya College of Engineering and Technology, Vidyapuram, 2004. And GVP College for Degree and PG Courses, Visak Patnam, 2011, at 28th position. 29th, Lucky Reddy Ball Reddy College of Engineering, Mailavaram, 1998. And Aditya Institute of Technology and Management, please note the, uh, the code here, ADIT. At two, uh, established in 2001 at the 30th position. 31 to 40, something like this. Madanpal Institute of Technology and Science, fine college, uh, good placements, 1998, established in 1998. Then JNTU A College of Engineering, uh, Kalikiri, 2013. Uh, Sri Vasavi College at uh, 33 position, Tadepali Gudam, 2001. KKR and KSR Institute of Technology and Science, Guntur, 2008. Uh, Lende Institute of Engineering and Technology, Vijayanagaram 2008, JNTU College of Engineering, Narsaropeta 2016 established, 36th position, Bapatla Engineering College, again uh, very old engineering college established in 1981, uh, at 37th position, 38th position, Aditya College of Engineering, Vidapuram 2008, 39th position is uh, Srinivasa Ramanujan Institute of Technology, Anantapuram at 2008, established in 2008. 40th is uh, Sir CRR College of Engineering, Eluru. Again, another old engineering college, 1989, established in 1989. Then 41 uh, to 50, we have Raghu Institute of Technology. Please note the uh, code here because there is another engineering college from the same group, uh, RITV, Bhimuni Patnam, 2007, um, VLIT, Vignans Lara Institute of Technology and Science, Vadlamudi, 2007. 
Vignan's Nirula Institute of Technology and Science for Women, Guntur 2008 at the 43rd position. Rajiv Gandhi Memorial College of Engineering and Technology, Nandyal, established in 1995, another good college. Uh, but for the location, it should have been at a higher position. Uh, Andhra Dala Institute of Engineering and Technology, Vijayawada 2008, uh, established in 2008 at the 45th position, 46th position, Sanketika Institute of Technology and Management, Visakhapatnam, 2009, Narayana Engineering College, Nellur, 1998, another fine engineering college, 47th position, 48th, Sri Venkateshwara Engineering College, Tirupati, 2009, 49th position, GIET Engineering College, Rajamandri, 2005, and uh, finally, NBKR Institute of Science and Technology, Vidyanagar, 1979, established another uh, old engineering college at the 50th position. So, uh, this gives you some place to start. But as I, again, as I told you, this is not a perfect uh, methodology of ranking, but it gives you some relative idea as to which institute is better than the remaining based on popular perception, all right. So, to that extent, you have to make corrections and as I told you, in Andhra Pradesh, you also have to consider the location factor, you will have to see which location is closest to you and uh, based on that, uh, whether it is an urban center, whether the student will get exposure, proper exposure, because in engineering college, this is also important, whether recruiters will come to that particular place for recruitment on a regular basis. So, these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind as far as uh, excising your options is concerned. Now, there is this question that some of the students may not be happy with their performance in either JE main or even MSET. They feel that uh, they deserve better. I can understand the feeling and this year especially uh, because of Corona and the fact that the students were away from physical classes for almost two years. Uh, Several students got distracted, they did not get the proper kind of um, online class support, they have suffered because of that. So my advice to all of them is, if you think you have got the potential, then I think it is worth repeating uh, this year, because we are almost again uh, at end of August, uh, the, uh, uh, for all the top engineering colleges, the course is going to start from 1st of November. So, they are going to have a truncated first year, whereas if you repeat this time, everything will, will go on schedule and uh, uh, the next year, the courses will start on time, uh, end of July, first week of August. So, you will have a full one year. So, if you can just continue your preparation for another few months, uh, I think you will be positioned better. So, all those students who feel that uh, they have the potential to do better uh, either in JE main or MSET or uh, JE advanced. Uh, there is this long term course that we have. Um, this course is uh, organized at uh, my classroom centers uh, at both Hyderabad as well as Vizag. Vizag, our number 9164062062. You can contact our number to get more details. Uh, uh, in Hyderabad, we have at Nalakunta and Madhapur. The numbers are there. So, you can contact these numbers, get more details. At all the three locations, we have got hostel facilities. So, even if you are, if you do not belong to these places, Hyderabad or Vizag, you can um, stay in a hostel and get advantage of top class coaching from my classroom. So, on that note, let us end this uh, video. If you have any questions, we will answer those questions, put those things in the comment section. We will, our team will come back to you uh, with detailed clarifications.